Introduction The fishes and other aquatic animals in the pond were dying. It was because people dumped their garbage in the pond. In this lesson, we will learn about the garbage, its sources and its harmful effects on us and other animals. We will also learn about the disposal methods of garbage. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you will be able to Define garbage List the methods of disposal of waste Define composting and vermin composting Describe the process of recycling of paper Describe the disposal of waste plastic Our daily activities give rise to a large variety of wastes arising from different sources Garbage or waste is such items which are unwanted materials. Many items can be considered as garbage, for example, household rubbish, sewage sludge, wastes from manufacturing activities, packaging items, discarded cars, old televisions, garden waste, old paint containers, etc. Wastes are divided into two categories as biodegradable waste and non-biodegradable waste. Vegetable and fruit skin are biodegradable waste, whereas plastic, metals and glass are non-biodegradable waste. When we peel off fruit and vegetable skin, it is necessary to dispose of it in dustbin. Careless lying garbage attracts disease-causing insects. Let us look at various methods of waste disposal like composting, vermin composting and recycling of paper. The garbage van collects garbage from the locality and takes it to open areas. These open areas contain deep trenches known as filling areas. Here the useful and useless parts of waste are segregated. The useless waste is filled in these areas and covered with sand. The useful part of waste, like wastes of kitchen peels of fruits and vegetables, is put down in the trenches near the filling areas and covered with sand. After some time, the useful parts of waste convert it into compost. The color of waste becomes black due to complete decomposition and there is no bad smell. This compost is used as manure for proper growth of plants. Students, you might have seen earthworms in rainy season. They convert the kitchen waste into the compost. This is known as vermicomposting. The red worms used in vermicomposting do not have teeth. A special structure called gizzard is present in them which crush down the food. These worms cannot live in hot or cold environment. Therefore, moisture is required in the formation of vermicompost. The compost obtained from vermicomposting is used in agriculture. Now we will learn about the recycling of paper. Paper recycling is the process of recovering waste paper and remaking it into new paper products. For recycling of paper, old newspaper, old envelopes, magazines, old notebook, useless paper, a bowl and a wooden frame of wire sieve is required. The steps involved are Soak newspaper and waste paper in water for a day or two. Squeeze out the excess water. Crush the soaked paper to get a paste. After that, fill the bowl with water. Paper waste in the bowl. Stir it. Immerse the frame of wire sieve in the watery suspension in the bowl. Slowly remove the frame from the suspension and steadily place it in horizontal position. Now separate the layer of paste from the frame. Wait for the water to drain. Thus we have the recycled paper. Now we will look at disposal of non-biodegradable waste. Toys, shoes, bags, pen, comb, toothbrush and bottles 
are made up of plastics and glass. Plastic is a non-biodegradable material. It does not break down into simpler substances. Also, the recycling of all types of plastics is not possible. Only a few types of plastics can be recycled. The burning of all types of plastics produces harmful gases. Sometimes animals eat the plastic bags which causes death of those animals. The plastic bags which we throw on roads go down in sewers and choke them. This allows the water to run out of the sewers and causes many difficulties to the people. We should follow following methods during disposal of plastics. Stop use of plastic bags. If you use, reuse the plastic bags where it is possible. Make use of paper bags. Use jute or cloth bags. Plastic bags need not be used for the storage of food materials. After use, plastic bags should not be thrown here and there. Burning of plastic bag is very harmful. We should also not use the plastic bags for the disposal of kitchen waste. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Garbage or waste are such items which are unwanted. Wastes are divided into two types, biodegradable and non-biodegradable. There are many methods of waste disposal like composting, vermicomposting, recycling of paper, etc. Fruits and vegetable skin are biodegradable waste. Plastic is a non-biodegradable material. The burning of all types of plastics produces harmful gases.